In this video, we'll be looking at all the ways you can customize the Fossil Hybrid HR, from changing the background image to customizing the three side buttons. As you can see, I've currently got no dials showing up on my watch, and that makes it really easy for me to view my background picture, which shows that I'm working my hardest, as I'm sure all of you are as well. But if I long press the top button, all of my dials appear. I can long press it again to hide them again. You can also do the same thing from the in-watch menu, although it takes a lot of clicks to do pretty much the exact same thing. Being able to hide and show your dials is a feature that was introduced in April's update, and it's a great way to see all the information you need, as well as showcase some fantastic background designs that people have come up with. Apart from that, every single customization aspect of the Fossil Hybrid HR is done through the Fossil app on your phone. So let's get straight to it. So we'll go ahead and open the Fossil app. And right at the bottom is the customization tab. So tapping on that brings us to this interface, which shows you your currently applied watch face, as well as a bunch of different presets. Yours might look a bit different because I've customized mine, but you should have the main interfaces like daily and fitness. You can also create your own watch face like I did for my unboxing video, and you can do that by swiping all the way to the end and pressing create. For this video though, we're just going to customize a pre-existing watch face, so we're going to do daily. Now this is the main interface, and on the right you've got all these options to customize what each button does. If you tap on any button, the watch moves to the side and you can see what each button does in more detail. So right now the top button opens up the wellness dashboard, the middle opens up past notifications and the bottom one opens up music control. At the bottom of the screen are all the options you can choose from for what the button should do and there aren't a whole lot of choices here, but if I tap on all, you can see that we've got workout mode, stopwatch, timer, weather, commute time and connect challenge. Past notifications and music control aren't available here because they're already mapped to other buttons. If we tap on search here, it just makes the entire list vertical, which is better for some people, I suppose. And you can see that past notifications, music control, and wellness dashboard are already assigned. If you tap on any option, you'll see a little explanation underneath, as well as any settings you can change. For example, if we click on stopwatch, it'll give you a little explanation of how to use that. Same thing with timer. If we click on weather, it'll show you the settings that you can change. So I can tap on that and tell it to show me the weather in, let's say, New York, for example. So we tap on new. So I've got the address here in New York. I'm going to click back. And you can see that the location has changed here. So now let's say I want to check what that weather feature looks like on the hybrid HR. I simply tap on the tick icon at the top here and apply it to my watch and you can see the watch should flash with an update. And now you can tell that it has changed. Of course I can't see any of my dials because I've hidden them so I'm going to long press that top button and you can see that all of my dials reappear. And you'll notice that no matter what you assign the buttons to do, you can't change the long press options. So long pressing the top button will always show or hide your dials. Long pressing that middle button will always bring up the menu. And long pressing the bottom button will do absolutely nothing. I'm hoping that Fossil will release some kind of update that lets the user customize it because I'd really love to have some kind of quick do not disturb feature here. But for the time being, it does absolutely nothing. Anyway, we wanted to see the weather, so I'll just tap the top button here, and you can see that it shows me the weather in my current location. I can tap the down key here, and it shows me the weather in New York. Now I'm happy with the rest of the button controls, so I'm going to pop the watch back down here, and let's go back to the photo app to check out what else we can change. We're back at the main screen now, and you'll notice this little pencil icon on the dial edge. Tapping on that brings up all the customization options for the watch face, and you can scroll through a bunch of different presets here. Now because this is the black silicon model, all of my backgrounds are black. If you have a different version of the watch, you might have light colored backgrounds. I actually really like white backgrounds, so I always use custom backgrounds. So if we tap on add photo, you can choose whatever image you want. I've already got a few custom ones set up here. 
but you can find them online or you can create your own. There are some really great websites where you can find watch faces for the Fossil Hybrid HR and you can find them in the description below. This one is from Shenji Watch Faces. This one I believe is from Kuro Time Design and the last one is from the Heroku app and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing all the names properly here. You can also find some watch faces on the Fossil Hybrid subreddit which I've also linked to in the description below or you can make your own. But definitely check out those sites and make sure to thank the people developing them because they are really talented. I'm quite fond of this one so I'm going to tap on that and then I'm going to click on that tick icon at the top to apply it to my watch. And again you can see that's what it looks like. And doesn't that look so much better than the standard black watch face? I can long press the top button again to show my dials. And you can see some watch faces make room for the dials and some watch faces don't. So I'm going to long press that and hide them again. Pop the watch down. And let's say that I'm not happy with that. I want to change it to something else. So I tap on the pencil icon. I go here, I tap on create, and from here I can choose either to get something from my library or take a new photo. So let's say that I want to use a picture of Spider-Man. I'm going to click on take photo, bring my phone over here, take a decent picture of Spider-Man, just chilling here upside down, and that's what that looks like. So let's say I'm happy with that photo. I want to click on the tick icon. This brings me to this interface, which is basically allows you to customize it and you can crop it, resize it. And it's a really simple, easy to use interface. Obviously you have a circular push face, so it's gonna crop it as a circle. Let's say I want to do that. So that's how I wanna frame it. At the bottom, you've got a bunch of different options that allow you to change how you want the picture to look. You've got exposure, contrast, shadows, carbon, and soft. Personally, I don't notice a huge difference between them all, but you can notice in some cases how the greys are darker, or if it's grainy, or if it's smooth, so I'm pretty happy with soft, I think that looks decent. So I'm going to click on preview, and that's what it would look like on my watch face, and you can see that it's actually hidden behind all the dials. So I'm, let's say I'm happy with that, I'm going to tap on choose and that's what it looks like and then I'm going to click on that tick icon again to apply it to my actual watch face you can see that spider-man is behind the hour hand so I'm going to give it a quick flick and you should be able to see him I can also again show my dials and you can see what that interface looks like now, just to show you what the interface looks like when you want to add a completely new watch face, let's go to one of those websites and download a new background. So I'm going to open up Chrome, and I've already got the site logged in here. And you can see that there are quite a few different options, and they all look pretty good. Some of them make room for the dials, and some of them don't. Um, I kind of look at, like the look of this Gallifrey watch face, I'm going to tap on that and then I'm going to click download and all of these watch faces are literally just an image file so you can really easily make your own it's just a square with a circle cut out so it's downloading that and I've got a notification here as well I'm going to switch back to the fossil app again we're going to click on that pencil icon scroll all the way to the right tap on create and instead of take photo this time I'm going to click on photo library It's in my download folder, so I'm going to click on that, and you can see that I've got the image right here. So it brings us back to that familiar interface of cropping. Since this watch face is designed specifically for the Fossil Hybrid HR, it's very easy to crop. You just want to maximize it completely, so that is perfectly centered. I'm going to go with contrast on this one, because I really want the white and black to sort of pop out. And then I'm going to click on Preview and that's what it would look like on my watch. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to click choose and then I'm going to click on that tick to apply it to my watch. And again, just to show you what that looks like with and without the dials, you can see that that's the design. I can long press the button and showcase what it looks like with the dials. 
This is actually a really, really nice watch face. So thank you to Stochastic. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The other main thing we can customize on the Hybrid HR is the actual dials themselves. So going back to this main screen, you can tap on any dial to change the interface and this is what it shows you. And at the top you've got all your dials and at the bottom you've got all the options. So I'm going to click on search just to show you a vertical list of all the options available. And you can see that we've got current temperature, steps which are already assigned, second time zone, heart rate assigned, day and date which is assigned, chance of rain, active minutes, empty, calories which is assigned, and battery. Like the dials, you can have a look at what each of these ones actually shows you. So this one shows you the battery life. And you would assume that the second time zone would show you the time in whatever time zone you select, but nope. It just shows you the hour difference. It's only when you refresh the watch by flicking your wrist that it'll show you the actual time in your local city. But let's say you don't want anything on this top dial. You can also swipe all the way to the left and click on empty. So now I have three dials which are active. Let's say I also want to get rid of my heart rate, for example. Tap on the heart rate and then tap on empty. So now I have two dials. Let's say I'm happy with that layout. Click on the tick to apply it to my watch, and then you can see my watch here. If I long press, you can see that only those two dials show up. So it's really up to you if you want one dial, two, three, four, and again, what you want those dials to show. It's really a nice customization option. However, you cannot customize what color the dials are. I've got the black watch, so my dials are always going to be black circles with a little white outline. It would be really nice if you could change the background to maybe a lighter color, or if you could just get rid of it completely, or even if you could change the shape, because these black dials, they look decent on some watch faces, but on other watch faces they just get in the way. So it would be really nice if you could just decide that I want, you know, maybe a rectangular dial, or just a white background or have no background at all. So maybe that's going to be released in a future update, but for now, this is what we have to work with. So that pretty much covers the main customization options available for the Fossil Hybrid HR. But as some of you may have noticed, whenever I've opened the menu on my watch, the wash hands haven't been completely horizontal. In fact, they've been slightly misaligned. And that brings me to one final thing that you can change on the Fossil Hybrid HR. But rather than using the customization tab, this feature is actually in the settings. So we're going to go to profile on the bottom right. And then from here, we're going to click on that little gear icon and then tap on calibration. This allows you to align the hands on your watch. So I'm going to bring the watch up here and show you what that looks like. So you can use these two dials on the right and left to control the hour hand and you can just tap them once and you can see that my watch hand is moving. So I'm going to tap on that until it's perfectly aligned to the 12 o'clock position. Once I'm happy with that, I tap on next. Now comes a minute hand. So again, I can move the dials to align it to the 12 o'clock position. And I think that looks decent. So I'm going to click on done and you can see that now my hands are perfectly horizontal. At least I hope. It looks decent from this angle anyway. Apart from that, and physically swapping out the watchmans, there is not much that you can customize on the Fossil Hybrid HR. Maybe we'll get some more customization options in a future software update, but until then, if you've got any questions, comments or concerns, please let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you and your family are safe and well. This has been Zaim Siddiqui from Zeus Reviews, over and out.